Maybe we can't cure people or entirely remove symptoms, but we do have the ability to give people the sense that they're being listened to and that their opinions and needs are being taken seriously. I'm Javi Carell. I'm the principal investigator on a discovery award called EPIC, which is Epistemic Injustice in Healthcare. Epistemic injustice, it's a philosophical concept developed in order to capture the way in which we can be discriminated against when our credibility is unfairly reduced when we speak because you are from this ethnic group or because you are a woman or because of how you dress or because of your socioeconomic status. So it's an injustice done to somebody in their capacity as a speaker, as a knower. And of course, it's particularly significant within healthcare because these contributions from patients are sometimes overlooked or ignored or not acted upon. And this, of course, could have dire consequences for the quality of the clinical care that they receive. The EPIC team includes researchers from philosophy, psychiatry, psychology, law, history, and qualitative health research. The project aims to identify, describe, document, analyze, and ultimately ameliorate the phenomenon of epistemic injustice in healthcare. So EPIC will address four existing problems in the field. The first is it's conceptually underdescribed, and what EPIC will do is fill theoretical gaps in our understanding of epistemic injustice in healthcare. Second, it's empirically untested, and this will be the first large-scale project to use six case studies to describe and understand and document epistemic injustice in real healthcare domains. The third is that OPIC will develop some amelioration and ways to address and reduce the risk of epistemic injustice in healthcare. And finally, EPIC will try and bring the concept of epistemic injustice into contact with the broader healthcare discourse. For me, the most important outcome of the project would be to develop concrete and applicable tools for both health professionals and patients to reduce epistemic injustice within healthcare.